Bucket Head, and I'm coming at you with my head shave of the day for today. It's April 11th, 2018, and I did want to say uh, thank you for joining me for the head shave today. Definitely do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. I'm not doing too bad myself here. Wednesday night, just got done with the face shave. I figured let's go into the head shave here, get this ready, and cleaned up for the rest of the week. <clears throat> you know, just want to relax tonight and just, you know, kind of enjoy the shave. So let's get into it. Okay, so to get started, I did want to go through just some of the equipment we'll be using for the shave here. Uh, hardware side, <clears throat> the razor I'm going to be using, the Gem Micromatic Clog Proof. That's what it looks like right here. Single edge, it uses one of these uh, single edge blades. It's a brand new Gem stainless blade here. There we go with that. Let's just put it in. It's going to hang it right there. That's what it looks like. So we have that put in. So there's the razor. I definitely like using that for the head shaves. It's kind of my go-to. Uh, the brush we'll be using, <clears throat> the Haircut and Shave Co. 26 millimeter tuxedo style on that with the red and black handle. I do like using this for head shaves nowadays. It's just uh, kind of goes big on your head here. It gets around pretty good. So there we go. Definitely like using this here. Okay, then the software side, the soap we'll be using. I'm going to be using the Henri A. Victoria Absinthe. This is a little absinthe scented, but it's a, it's like a black licorice and herbals kind of thing. So it's black licorice with some like green scent in it. Oh uh, yeah, it's a, I like that scent a lot. That's what it looks like right here. It is a, it's not hard, it's not soft. You can put your finger in it. Pretty easy. But I definitely want to like this stuff. Uh, smells great to me. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. From what I remember, it makes a real nice lather too. Okay, then... <clears throat> After a uh, post shave, I'm putting on some Thayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel. That feels pretty good on the skin there. The after shave we'll be using, I figured I'd just go with this, I don't know, Aqua, uh, Aqua Velva Ice Blue. A little bit of a cooling at the end there. And then I'll be uh, putting on some Vivi Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. Okay, so that's the hardware and the software. So we can go ahead and uh, get this shave st uh, head shave started. So let's go ahead and rock this head shave out. Okay, so I just did get out of the shower here not too long ago, so I'm just going to get right into it. I don't really need to wet my head or anything like that. Let's get the brush wet. Looking good. Let's give it a couple good shakes. Wet. I don't know, we'll see. I might need to go back to the... put some water on it, maybe. Yeah. Just a little. Let's see, too much water. So we're loading up the, the puck here. I'm maybe give it around 30 seconds or so. We'll see what it looks like. I think that's a pretty good load on it. Just give it a couple more seconds. Yep, I think we'll, we'll go with that. <clears throat> I think that'll work. Okay, so I'm just going to put some more water here, bring it to the head, start building the lather. I really like this scent. Yeah, probably a five or a six there on the scent scale. It's a, it's very nice. Uh, you know, like I said, if you don't like black licorice, you might not like this, but uh, I definitely do. So that's a winner to me. Oh, watch out! Who's a little getting a little sloppy here with the lather. Adding in the water, you know, just kind of we'll put a little more water on here. I think yeah, making up a real nice lather here, though. I'd like to try uh, other Henri Victoria soaps. Uh, the most popular one isn't this one. It's the uh, Cognac and Cuban, Cuban Cigars. And I've, I'm not sure exactly what that would smell like, but I do, I didn't think I'd always like a tobacco scent, but you know, now I've kind of had a couple. They're pretty pleasant. Boy, this is an awesome scent. I really like this. You can smell it real nice, even on the head here, which that's definitely not the case with the, you know, when you're head shaving all the time. It's a kind of a weak soap with a weak scent. Sometimes you really can't get a good 
smell of it. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. <clears throat> okay, so uh, first pass, I'm gonna go with the grain here. Yep, nice and smooth, no problem. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. Like I said, the last time I did a head shave was on Saturday. So, uh, on Sunday, had a fun little night. We watched, uh, WrestleMania over at my wife's brother's house with, uh, nieces and nephews. So fun. I'm sorry, actually, just my nephew. Just nephews. <laughs> nephews and, uh, my wife's cousin, who is still uh, like 10 or 11. <clears throat> it's real funny, I like getting the kids all riled up. You know, you gotta root for the bad guys. Because, you know, they want all the, the good guys to win, obviously. I do watch, though. I still watch a bit. I don't get to watch every week. If I don't watch, I'll check out the results online. But there's a couple shows that I watch. I try to watch every week. Like, I don't get to watch the was it, Raw and SmackDown every week. I I try to always catch uh, the NXT. It's like the uh, the farm system. Like, you know, so if the, the Yankees have near us, it's the AAA team. Right before they go up to the majors, the uh, Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders. So it's kind of like that. But, pretty fun. Okay, good pass there. So let's go back for two on this side. This next pass here with the grain. Other side here. Not sure if it just maybe it's just because I don't know. Feels like the blade is kind of tugging a bit. I don't know. Maybe just because it's brand new. Now milds out a bit and used a bit. I don't know. It's cut. It's cutting though, so that's really what I want. Because I kind of noticed when I was going down on my neck here, I got to be very light touch. Because I can get razor burn pretty easy. Put too much pressure. That's how it goes sometimes with this. Yep, but the uh, right. But it's feeling pretty good here. The soap's good. It's nice and slick here. I got enough for the, you know, go on this residual slickness over and over here a bit. So I'm feeling pretty good. I think that's a good first pass there now. A little smidge more water on here. Pass two. Start building up a lather here a bit. Really like this scent here. It smells pretty good to me. I gotta tell you, I'm really looking forward to, uh, Tomorrow and Friday and Saturday coming up here. The weather is finally starting to break. It's going to be a decent weather, like 60s, 70s. Can't wait to go outside and take advantage of it. A second pass here against the green. 
<clears throat> I got home from work today. I went and took a walk. It was only like 38 or so. But, you know what? It didn't feel too cold, actually, for, for whatever reason. So, <clears throat> took a quick walk down the road and back. Just to take advantage. I can't really... I wouldn't do that at work. I work on like the side of a mountain, kind of, and it gets so windy up there, it's ridiculous. Like, I've had times where I'm wearing my winter coat <clears throat> and walking along like the little path they have running outside in the parking lot, and just so, so cold. Just way too cold to do. Pretty good here. <clears throat> yep, this head shape's going pretty good. Yeah, I'm kind of going crooked there, but you can see what I'm doing. This bath, this bathroom is kind of awkward. It's like a wall right here, so <laughs> I have to sit in close, but do it, do the best that I can, you know. I don't claim to be a professional. <laughs> I don't have a lot of money invested into this or anything. But I have a tripod. I only got that because my wife wanted it for doing her own videos, unrelated food prep videos on Facebook she wanted to put up. I was considering it, but I was even just thinking getting a... Like a... A stick on to the mirror camera holder kind of thing but this has been working out pretty good as long as I don't use it same time she needs it it's fine no big deal I mean that's expensive too I think 20 bucks for this tripod it's pretty big too it goes up to like four feet tall or five feet tall or something like that Not the sturdiest thing, but I'm guessing it'll do just fine for what we need it for. Okay, good. Second pass here, we'll go back for three. Let's put a little more water on the tips of the brush there. Yeah, see it's getting a little wet now, but that's okay. As long as it doesn't get my eye. <laughs> then it might not be good. <laughs> Can I try to whip it around quick here? I don't need much. Especially in this third pass, there's not really a lot here. need to build up the ladder for. Just want to get nice and slick. That's going to work for me, I think. Cross the grain here. That seems to be work the best for me on these third passes. I think this is across the grain. I don't know. It just feels like it to me, I guess. It's not a well. <laughs> Do it the way I'm doing it. <laughs> Why is the dog barking? Because he's stupid. Yeah, pretty good there. I don't think there's doesn't feel like there's much left there, I gotta tell you.
Yeah, I saw Flash. His last uh, head shave, and I think he was saying he might hold off on it for a while, or I'm not sure if he's going to give up on it altogether or what. Which is fine, you know, hey, you know, if it's not working out for you, well, don't torture yourself. Gotta do what works best for you. Let's go back for pickups now here. See if I need to, you know, really. It's fine. That's fine. Just feel around. Get my hands wet. Okay, just feel around. God, the dog's so loud. He barks. He's a little dog, but he barks loud. Maybe right there. A little cocker spaniel, but... Whew. That's good. Feels okay. That's feeling pretty good. I think that's uh, we're good for the shave there. We'll leave it at that. Some check on my ears here, quick. Yeah, I got stuff. It's hard to get back here. Yep, a little bit back here too. This is usually where I'll cut my ear. Because <laughs> I'm trying to get these nubs right next to your head's hard. Okay, very good. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of the uh, Thayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel here. Feels real good here. I'm getting a good feel on the head and very smooth. Very, very smooth shave. <clears throat> okay, while that's drying down, we can just go through again what we used for the shave. So the razor, the gem micromatic clog proof with the gem stainless blade first use on this. Did a pretty good job there. The uh, brush, haircut and shave co 26 millimeter tuxedo style knot with the red and black handle. Great job here. And the soap we used was the Henri A. Victoria Absinthe. Uh, nice absinthe scented soap here. Uh, real nice stuff. I definitely like this a lot. Makes a nice, real nice lather. Okay, and uh, like I said, we have the witch hazel. Okay, then the aftershave we're gonna go on. Use some of this Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Yep, uh, you know, nice clean scent there. I'm just kind of watch out with this bottle. You see this big old restrictor? It doesn't even work. Why would you even call that a restrictor? Just kind of a big hole. So we'll just do the old trick where you put your finger over it a little bit so you can make your own restrictor. Very good. Okay, put it right on the head here. 
Yep, no burns, no burning here. I can definitely feel a nice cooling menthol in the aqua velva. I'll tell you that. I like that about aqua velva, a nice uh, cooling sensation. It's not a bad scent either. It's kind of kind of floral. I'm not sure exactly what's in there, but not bad. You can find it pretty much anywhere too, so that's helpful. Okay, then we'll put on a little bit of balm, Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shea Balm. There we go. A little bit there. Rub it around on the head here. Very nice. Excellent, that felt great. <clears throat> okay, and that does uh, conclude the head shave of the day for today. So I did want to say uh, thank you for checking out the video. Definitely do appreciate it. Uh, please like and comment below. Definitely like seeing both, but if you can, you know, just leave a thumbs up or do a comment, either one. <laughs> Much appreciated. And I did uh, also don't forget to uh, subscribe. You can do that below. So, you know, if you, I would definitely recommend checking out the video, you know, subscribing. Kind of keep up to date when I'm putting up videos here. Very much appreciated if you are subscribed. So thank you. And again, I did want to say uh, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you have a great night. Hope you have some great shaves.